Hi guys, welcome back to the Ken Survival Channel. Today I'm going to be showing you some of my bushcraft equipment. So today I wanted to go over some of my bushcraft equipment. What I take out with me when I'm uh, crafting, building, just out for the day cooking, whatever it may be. Uh, this is, well these are the things I take with me. So I'm going to start off with um, some of the cooking stuff. I do a lot of cooking, obviously, if you've seen my videos before. I always take with me a cup. You've likely seen this, the GSI cup before. Um, nests with Nalgene's and all the other stuff as well, so it's a good size to have. Uh, sometimes you'll see me with the, with the Crusader cup, um, but it depends on what I'm doing. Uh, below that, I've got my fairly new GSI kettle. I'm going to be using today. Um, not something you need to have, but uh, it's something I've been wanting for a while. If you're not having a fire or you don't really have the time or water to be extinguishing a fire, having a, uh, a wood burning stove is quite a good idea. You can have one like this or a gasifier one, um, whatever you may be. This is the one I tend to use more. I've got a knife, fork, and spoon set there. You can get ex-military ones or camping ones, they're generally pretty cheap. Um, I prefer that to having a spork personally. On the other side here we've got a, a couple of things I've made myself, a, a cooking spoon and a spatula, so quite good for not scratching your cookware. Uh, these are both from Ash I believe and they've just uh, been oiled with some mineral oil because uh, it's food safe and it doesn't rot. Below that we have one of the most important things, a first aid kit. This is just the one in my day bag. Uh, it's not kind of a full full kit, but it'll do for uh, cuts and burns, which are the most common things out here. Up here we have a selection of gloves, depending on what I'm doing, with the uh, Kevlar ones, which are pretty heat resistant, they're pretty good. There's some ordinary cheap work gloves, leather ones. And below that we have um, welder's gloves. So if I'm working with uh, Dutch oven and stuff, it can be quite handy to have them, though they are quite heavy, so I don't use them often. So getting on to the tools, the most important things is your knife. I tend to use a Condor Bushlaw most of the time, quite enjoying it. The edge seems to hold up quite well, as long as you don't do anything too stupid with it. But I do play around with uh, other knives while I'm out here. Um, for instance, today I've got the Schrade 221 with me which has just fouled its batten test. <laughs> Depending on what you're going to be doing, you might want carving knives. I've got with me here, this is just a um, crook knife for spoon gouging. Below that I've got my Laplander, Bucko Laplander. I'm loving this. I was in the false economy of getting uh, cheap saws um, and really getting through them because they kept breaking. This one has a dual purpose blade for for deadwood and uh, for pruning, so for, for greenwood as well, so it's pretty good. Not always necessary, but I've got my axe from processing bigger wood. Um, camp building is a good thing to have. This is only a cheap axe, but I've made the, um, the collar and the sheath myself. If I'm doing bigger work than the uh, folding saw can handle, I've got a bow saw here, or buck saw, whatever you'd like to call them. Uh, this one was gifted to me by Nick. Thanks, Nick, again. Uh, this camp was built with that saw, to be honest, and uh, I'm looking to build my own as well, make my own saw, which would be quite interesting. Inside that you can see some uh, cordage, that's jute twine. I like to use that out here in case I misplace any. It's um, natural, so I don't feel too bad about leaving it out. It's also good for starting fires and stuff as well. Below that we can see these are little key pouches and I've discovered that's a good size to fit this uh, sharpening stone. This is the Lansky Puck, I believe it's called. Um, and that's good for using with an axe, use the circular motion over the blade. Um, with the knives, I tend to just try and strop them if I can. And in the middle here we have fire lighting things. So if you've got a good spine on your knife. You won't need a scraper but there's a ferrocerium rod. Uh, this one was from Outlaw Bushcraft so uh, check out his channel. I'll link him below. He does custom work and that. 
a lighter for them real emergencies. Good to always have with you. This is a little tinder tin. You can see the hole in for doing char cloth. Uh, there's a tiny bit of birch bark in there. Got some wet fire for emergencies. Flint and steel. The steel I'm using at the moment. Bring it in here for a closer look. Is the Wes Key from Wessex Blades. Um, good price and works great and is a multi-tool as well. Got some char cloth and some uh, cramp buns in there as well. Over here we have a trowel, which can be handy in sort of fire building and other things. Um, good for toilet duties as well. Some tissues and some wet wipes. Don't go into the woods without wet wipes. <laughs> they are brilliant. And underneath that you can see it's just a cheap, inexpensive um, sit mat. It's for kneeling on, for sitting on. Um, very necessary, especially in uh, this muddy country. I didn't want to get into camping stuff too much. Uh, I'm going to save that for another video. But um, I will say it's nice to have a natural light while you're out rather than like LEDs. And things like these paraffin storm lanterns are great. This one has just become cracked recently, which is a shame. But I've got another one on the way. I tend to use the Highlander 33 litre pack as a day pack. Um, gets the job done. Uh, I've already got the 66, so the 33 seemed uh, sensible for a day pack. On it there I usually carry around a grill for cooking. And kind of a personal survival kit and uh, first aid kit. These are the polymath ones. Pretty good to keep on there and a little light for looking around your bag if it does get dark. But yeah, it's a nice bag, I like it. So thanks for joining me for a look at some of the bushcraft gear I use. I'll put some links down below if I can. Uh, if you've got any questions about any of the gear, uh, write in the comments and I'll uh, try and answer as best I can. Um, hope to do some more follow-up videos like winter camping gear and things like that as well. Uh, so I'll get to them as and when I can, a bit harder to do. Um, but yeah, thanks very much for watching. I'll put some more videos on the screen if you want to see them. Um, thanks very much and I'll uh, see you on the next one.